Jesus talked about the standards of the kingdom. The first shall be last, and the last shall be first. He talked about the morality of his kingdom. If your enemy hungers, feed him. If they compel you to go a mile, go to. If they tell you they're going to strike you on the right side, on the right cheek, don't retaliate, even if that means turning to them the left cheek. But love your enemy. Do good to those who despitefully use you. Pray for those who are taking advantage of you. Those are the rules of the new kingdom. Yeah. And then he started to show that everything in the new kingdom is upside down and toxic turbid compared to the current kingdom. You are blessed. You are fortunate when you're poor in spirit. You are blessed. You are fortunate when you have to cry. You are blessed. You are fortunate if you're meek. You are blessed, you are fortunate when you're starving for righteousness or thirsting for righteousness. You are blessed, you are fortunate if you are merciful. You are blessed, you are fortunate if you are pure of heart. You are blessed, you are fortunate if you're a peacemaker. You are blessed, this is the hard one for us, you are fortunate when people persecute you. Jesus preached about the kingdom. He said the kingdom is like a mustard seed. The kingdom is like a pearl of great price. The kingdom is like a hidden treasure in a field. The kingdom is like a sower sowing seed. The kingdom is like a man planting good seed in his field and an enemy coming in and planting weeds. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast and bread. The kingdom of heaven is like a big net that catches all kinds of fish. Drive by, sir. 
we are laying. In Revelation 19, we see the second way. And I saw heaven open and behold a white horse. And the one sitting on it is called faithful and true and the righteous judge. His eyes are like a flame of fire. And I heard, as it were, the voices of many saying, right? That's the kingdom that's coming. Amen. We're living in between. There's a revolution, there's a revolution taking place. And if we can sit in church and not see it or feel the angst of it, something is wrong.
when the war started, when the battle started, they let go of their war cry. And when that war cry sounded, it challenged the morale of the other army. So even though they were less in number, the other army was afraid of them because of their war cry. He get ready to open the doors of the church. But before we open the doors of the church, I want to hear your war cry. I want to hear your
leave us, we're going back to your home church. Back and forth. We got you. We got you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. You know, Brother Walker, if you can get the information so you have it for your records.
until his coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father, we most humbly beseech you, and grant that we receiving these your creatures of bread and wine, according to your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution, and remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who the same night that he was betrayed took the bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink all of it, but this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remissions of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. The body of Christ I receive.
us to let your light so shine that men and women will see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. As these go, let others know. Father's children, let your light so shine. Men and women will see your good works. Glorify your Father, which is in heaven. As these go, let others come.
We're going to rise and sing our hymn of fellowship, our victory song. We're only going to fellowship with those people in our immediate area so we can go into the fellowship hall and enjoy everybody's company.